In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple Arduino-based um, Hot Wheels uh, finish line. Basically, this is for a, a two-lane uh, setup, and it runs off uh, an Arduino Nano. Um, standalone, uh, it's pretty simple to uh, program and wire up. Um, if you subscribe, um, you can follow along, and I'm going to eventually lead up to this uh, larger unit, which will give you a finish line winner as well. ET and speed trap all on an LCD screen. So if you subscribe, you can eventually see that build as well. Before I go into any type of production, I typically like to breadboard it up and just to make sure everything works and components work just fine. Uh, it's a very basic circuit just with a couple resistors. Um, as you can see by the layout there, um, per lane is just a 10K and that, that can plus or minus 5%, 10%, it's not a big deal. Um, the 30 ohm, again, plus or minus, you know, it can go to 20 ohms right up to 50 ohms. It still seems to work just fine. And then the laning, one lane two winning uh, resistor is just a dropping resistor. And I just chose 390 ohms, but again, it can be plus or minus. This project is based around the infrared uh, Gick Fun uh, LED. So one's a receiver and one's an emitter. Uh, the, the emitter is the clear one and the receiver is the kind of the black one. Uh, there's not a lot of information on how to uh, connect these, uh, but uh, eventually I figured out how to do it. So they are Arduino uh, compatible. So if you just look here on the schematic here, um, it's a very unusual. Uh, the, the emitter is a, hooks up just like a standard LED would and uh, the receiver is um, actually hooks up in reverse where the five volts is actually applied to the negative side of the device and then we have a voltage divider of the 10k and the that goes to ground and then your signal that would go to the arduino pin um, comes off of that tap just in my workshop here i'm going to fabricate a quick little uh, finish line tower um, just some stanchions here and the sensors will be uh, mounted lower uh, near the track and then I'll have a top cap here and the LEDs will come out the top there for the lane winners. So just some aluminum extrusions, uh, very simple. You could probably make it out of wood too if you wanted to. Here's the completed finish line. I just used uh, machine screws to put it all together. It's uh, pretty much standalone. So it has a little cavity inside so the wires can tuck up neatly inside and you can put it anywhere along the track. Here I'm back at the workbench just doing a little bit of final soldering on the project. Um, the emitters, the receivers and the LEDs on top are just held in place with some hot glue gun and all the wiring is tucked up neatly up underneath. Um, use a uh, heat shrink to isolate all the open wires and terminals and uh, hopefully we should have this together very quick. So all the wiring is done, everything is connected and we'll just do a little test here. We'll just power the, the Arduino with a cell phone charger, plug it in, the LEDs will cycle. Now the system is ready, so we'll activate it. Boom. Winner. Winner. Things to note that uh, I have eight wires coming out of the back, so you can combine the, the five volt, and you can combine the 3.3 volt, and you can combine the grounds um, within the unit there itself, so you have less wires coming out. And I'm just powered by and then I'll